What is going on guys, welcome to Gub's videos. My name is Kyle Gubb, I'll be reviewing Baby Driver. I was really hesitant if I wanted to watch this in theaters or on DVD, but I decided to just watch it out in theaters because why the hell not? And it really gave me a sense of realization of style. This director does and brings to the theater is he brings his own style and Hollywood really needs more directors and creators like that because I'm not one to complain about reboots, remakes, and all that other shit, but it does kind of get annoying after a while seeing the same shit just put into a different type of movie like oh this director made it like that so i'm gonna make that same stacked style but put it in this movie so it gets annoying after a while and saint edgar wright's movies really brings his own style and we need more directors like that because he directed Shaun of the dead hot fuzz world's end he directed that great trilogy that I really, really enjoy. Sure, you might not like the certain style of Edgar Wright, but a lot of people do. But if you don't like your style, well, that's film. And I just realized people need to be more ballsy and add their own flavor to these movies. And that's why I really enjoyed this movie. I just appreciate it. And it was very refreshing to see that. And seeing this movie was very... It's, I wouldn't say the story is new of anything. And if anything, the story is kind of simple very very simple like most of his other movies are kind of simple but this is probably his simplest movie he's ever made and i kind of could tell where it was going to go from the beginning to the middle to the end but it was just so much fun to watch it was freaking hilarious seeing jamie fox on screen just like talking back and forth with baby i freaking loved it and when kevin spacey was on screen i was like he demanded the screen all eyes were on him when he was on screen i'm just like you might be a douchebag but I like you. I, I, I like this cast and I really liked the car chase. I love the, the chase scenes. I love everything. It's just so much fun to watch. Without going into spoilers, I do have to say this movie was a little too predictable and a little too simple for my taste. Because as soon as I sat down and the movie started, I'm like, this, 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 this. And that's exactly what happened. So the oversimplicity of this movie kind of hurt itself a little bit. And the other, the other thing I wasn't really a fan of was the, the love relationship of this story. Because I was not buying that for one second. And I tried. I really did try. But I was just not having it. I was like, you just met this guy who listens to music on his iPod. And then now all of a sudden you're going to make love and shit like that. And so that wouldn't have been such a major problem with the movie for me. But it was the fact that it was so much of the movie. And that was what really drove the character to go from point A to point B to point C. That hurt the movie a lot. But I did have a lot of fun with the movie. And I will say that. And it was just, it was funny as shit. And I loved, I really, really loved the way this movie was edited. This movie was basically a music video. And in a way, what I mean by music video is this movie has one of the greatest soundtracks ever. Like seriously, it's like Guardians of the Galaxy level. It's so much fun. And every time he plays a song, the gunfire, the, the way the car moves, everything is in sync with the music. And it was like basically watching a trailer on screen, but in a good way. I was like, son of a bitch, this is a lot of fun. So. It really amped up the fun. So even though I said those two big negative things, the fun aspect is still there because the way it was edited, the way it was shot, the way the characters were. I still liked a lot of the characters. It's just the fact that that relationship got in the way a little bit. And I wish I got to see a little bit more Kevin Spacey, but that's not more of a complaint. That's really more of a, like, I would have rather have seen, not more of a complaint. But I'm going to give this movie 3.5 out of 5 stars. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter and Instagram. Come to underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later and goodbye.